Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine if PCL5 is a polar or non-polar molecule. So it's a chemical formula for phosphorus pentafluoride and to understand if this is polar or non-polar molecule we first look at its lowest structure and its shape. So this is the lowest structure of PCL5 in which phosphorus atom is forming bonds with 5 chlorine atoms and to determine its polarity we often look at uh, the polarity of the bonds. Uh, and that we can determine by looking at the electronegativities of both phosphorus and chlorine atoms. If the difference of electronegativities is more than 0 0.4, this bond is polar. So for phosphorus, the electronegative value is 2.19 and for chlorine it is 3.16, which is higher than 0 0.4 and hence this PCL bond is a polar bond. Now you might wonder that because these bonds are polar, this might be a polar molecule. But hold on, you, you also need to look at the shape and the geometry of the molecule to answer this question. If you look at its shape in 3D, you will see that all the chlorine atoms are, are uh, arranged symmetrically around phosphorus atom and uh, generally the molecules that have symmetry are non-polar in nature. Reason because the net di the dipole moments cancel each other out and as a result there is a net dipole moment of zero. Here it would be the same for PCL5 molecule as well as all the chlorine atoms are spread out evenly and hence the, the, they will cancel each other's dipole and hence they will cancel each other's dipole moment which will result in zero net dipole moment for this molecule and as there is zero net dipole moment for this molecule PCL5 is a non-polar molecule so although the PCL bonds are polar in this molecule the molecule as a whole is non-polar I hope this video helps you to understand the polarity of PCL5 and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.